first of all, thanks so much for being with us. I hope you know the entire newsroom was a buzz today, knowing that Thank you were you, coming Lisa. in. Thank such, you. Such an institution for all of us. What is the one thing about you that you think is a misconception that people don't understand about Julie Andrews? Gosh, I don't know. Um, the, you know, in the old days, they used to say that I was just this sort of uh, um, uh, squeaky clean image. But I think that that these days, with all that's gone before, I think that the the kind of um, body of work speaks for itself. So I don't think I don't think there are any misconceptions. I am what I am, and people mostly know that. And that's why people love you, right? I don't know, but I, I'm delighted and I love them. Um, what do we have where you have the Julia Andrews collection? Can you tell us a little bit about yes, that and how a, we can get it? It's an imprint of um, books within HarperCollins. We, I have my own publishing collection which is called the Julia Andrews collection and uh, it's books that are geared for children of all ages from little ones to young adults and uh, all themes uh, that uh, celebrate nature and give children a sense of wonder and uh, I'm very proud of it. Why was it so important for you to do, in a way, give back by telling stories with kids? And is it from I your think experience? That as you get older, it's all about giving back. It's really what uh, I think one is supposed to do. And I love doing that. And I love sharing ideas and themes and helping children to learn to read and want to read. It's terribly, terribly important, as I'm sure you know. And music education, do you? Yes, as much of that as possible. I mean, all the arts are important because without them, I think uh, the world would be a very sad place indeed. Okay. Uh, we could talk to you forever, but I know you have to go. It was so lovely Thank to you, have Lisa. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, okay. We can talk about it. I get a few more questions. So thanks to you. Tell me a little bit about thanks that. Thanks to you is a new book that's just a little outside uh, the Julie Andrews collection. It's a book for, for mother and child, parent and child, child to give to parent. It's geared for Mother's Day, which is coming up very shortly. And um, it's really about uh, gratitude. It's about uh, uh, how we feel about our children and how our children feel about us. And it's, uh, the photographs in the book are all from my personal uh, extended family collection. And uh, it's doing terribly well. I mean, it's just literally come out, and it just rocketed to number two place on the Times bestseller list. And you wrote this with your daughter. I did. And, and are these things that you two experienced, or you experienced with all of your Well, we hoped or? that by writing our own exper experiences about uh, motherhood and parenting and so on, being daughters, because I'm a daughter and she's my daughter and she's now married, has her own children, we hoped that we might touch on the universal so that everybody could identify with the things that we speak about. Okay. And then also we have another Shrek coming out. I know Shrek 3 is coming out on the May the 18th and uh, it's wonderful. It's just as good as the other two. In fact, I, I personally think it's even funnier and uh, it's delicious. What is fun about being able to almost hide behind and just use your voice? Are you able to use your voice in a different way when you do? Well, it's, like it's just a different experience for me. Um, uh, it, it, it's totally different from making a, a ordinary movies, so, so to speak. Animated movies you do in a booth and uh, you don't have to get into hair and makeup, which is great. Uh, they're very different. It's mostly chosen later you you give any number of variations on any line that you're asked to say so that you never know which one's been chosen or which one they're going to use and then when the film comes out you sit back and say did i really say that